Hey, hockey friends. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys, but I figure you gotta have really good ideas of what's the point of making content. One of the reasons I started this channel is because, well, first of all, I love hockey. But one of the things that got me into hockey is the design of jerseys. This video is gonna be all about jerseys. Let's take a look at that right after this. All right, I hope you guys love that song, because it's pretty awesome. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at a bunch of jerseys that I've actually worn or I've been on these teams before. I'm going to start with like the first organized team I ever played on and go through some of the jerseys that I've had over the years. The coolest ones, there's a bunch of them I didn't include in here that are ugly, but the ones I really liked or, or I, maybe I designed them or stuff like that. I'm going to tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about some cool places to get your jerseys made if you want to get some custom jerseys. And uh, it's going to be all about jerseys. So sit back, grab one of these cold ones, uh, and enjoy the show. All right, going way back in time here, I got a jersey from a team called Club Shred. Well, watch out, Moose. Hey, you gotta get off the shot, buddy. All right, back to this. Club Shred, first organized team I ever played on. I wasn't playing goalie yet, but uh, it was pretty cool. Well, we played in the outdoor rink in Schaumburg. It was kick-ass, the CIHL, loved it. Then played on a team called Soldier Wreck. This was named after a band, so that was a band logo. Pretty cool one. Then was on a team called the Big Shooters. Pretty neat logo. They didn't center it on the jersey right when they made it, but that's pretty neat. But they should have centered it on the circle, and they they just centered the whole thing. Bad, bad. I should have thought of that. Here's a team I never actually even played for, but the goalie on the team was pretty cool, and he's like, hey man, you should just have one of these jerseys because they're pretty great. <laughs> so he gave it to me that word all the time in red hockey and stuff. No Ice Ice goalie video is complete without a episode about the Wookiees. For a long time I played on a team called the Wookiees. It was a 30 and over league and at Salt Creek Sports Center and uh, this really cool guy named Seth was our goalie and he had uh, always his whole life he always put Skywalker on the back of his jersey so we kind of just thought we gotta do something Star Wars and we came up with the Wookiees and this is a logo design that I sketched up and then my friend's wife who was an actual pinball machine artist did the final logo and that's just freaking beautiful so she did a great job in that and this was the main jersey and then you know we got a couple of alternates over the years we had a simple one with the flames on in case we played like a red team or something so we got a Wookiees W and then uh, we made these a little bit later and uh, Seth actually passed away and it was so we even put these little cool patches on there and I've had those patches on pretty much almost all my jerseys for years I threw a Seth patch on there and then we did an alternate jersey called the Landos, just for fun, because, you know, we're messing around. It's a pretty sweet logo. I drew that to look kind of like a Lego guy. One of the leagues I play in, everybody gets assigned to, to a different color. It's a draft league, and they put you on a certain color. So this particular league, I was on the purple team, and every time they switch me up to a different team, I always try and customize my jersey, because I can't just have a plain old blank jersey. So with purple, I figured, you know, Prince, Purple Rain, you got to throw on a Prince logo, so... I got a cool Sparkly Prince logo off the internet and ironed it on there. It's pretty sweet. And then I was on a team called the Gray Team, which I'm still on currently now. And I just kind of picked up this cool blank jersey. Instead of wearing their boring old one color jersey, I bought a gray jersey with some cool stripes on it, threw some numbers on it, and this cool iron on logo. Stuck that on there. That's pretty fun. Then I was on this cool team there wearing old Whalers jerseys. And, uh, you know, they already had the jersey, so I just picked up a blank one and through this cool poison, you know, the Mr. Yuck logo around there. I thought it was pretty neat. I thought it might scare away shooters, but that didn't happen. They they, they put a lot of pucks in past me with this one. I didn't scare them too bad. All right, beer comments. This is my main ice team. Our captain's name is Chris Nelson. We call him Nelly. And he said, hey, Chris, I want, like, the old Vancouver skate logo, but I turned it into beer comments. So I came up with this logo. We got light blue and red ones. So no matter what color we play, we always have something that works. And we didn't get a white. I'd love to get a white at some point, but... um. We're actually doing a redesign on these guys, and uh, it's coming from a company called mensleagueswitters.com. I'm going to tell you guys all about them in a couple minutes because that's a pretty cool place to get jerseys. Oh, why don't we just jump into that website right now. So mensleagueswitters.com is a great place to get completely custom jerseys, any design that you want. And here's a few different samples of that right there. But I picked this site because it has one of the best jersey customizers I've ever seen online. So you go throw your name of your team in there. And then you click and you can pick any different colors you want for the stripes and the base of the jersey. And then you can even pick uh, what color you'd like to make the pants because they'll make a pant shell for you if you want. 
So, and then you gotta click over here and you can pick from any different stripe style. They probably got a hundred different stripe styles here and uh, it just applies the colors that you've chosen to that. All right, and then once you're finished with all that, you can actually change the color of the numbers, you can even change the fonts and you can upload your logo and see what that looks like on there. Once your logo's uploaded, you can actually move it around, make it bigger, smaller, whatever. So we're using this website for our Beer Comets jerseys, which are in progress, but I've already used this site for another team and I'll talk to you about that. All right, let's just go off on a quick tangent here. Part of the fun of creating jerseys for your team is just coming up with the idea for the name of your team for one or coming up with the design for that logo if you're a graphic designer or even the guys just kind of pitching in with ideas. So that leads me to this story about this next jersey I'm gonna talk about. All of us were sitting around the bar one night talking about what we wanted to be, what we wanted to call the team, and we came up with this. All right, so I'm a kid of the 80s and uh, who were the coolest hockey fans in the 80s? Why the Gremlins, of course. <laughs> and creating a team identity is a process. So I'm gonna show you first some designs that I came up with and uh, we ended up not choosing. And then some jersey designs that my friend came up with that we ended up going with. All right, here's the logo I came up with. And then I applied it to some jerseys on that mensleagueswitters.com site. And uh, these are a few of those. This one's my absolute favorite right here, but we ended up not picking these and we ended up going with a different design. So my buddy Tom made this logo, which is inspired by a car from the 1970s called the Gremlin. And uh, this was a logo that was actually on that car. And then he put skates on the bottom, looks pretty sweet. And then I applied his logo to a couple of different jersey designs on mensleagueswitter.com. These were those. Um, but we ended up not going with these either because Tom came up with some super sweet, totally custom, 100% original stripes, which they can do on that website too. And here's the first one. Here's this bright green one. And uh, we're actually going to get these purple pants. That we ordered the uh, pant shells from these guys, and they're pretty awesome. Uh, they're really, really cool. Here's the home and away versions of this jersey. And here's the final Gremlins jersey designed by my buddy Tom. Super awesome logo. Love it. The colors are just spot on fantastic. I love how they got the purple and the lime green. It just looks so cool. And these guys come with the free socks, so get some pretty sweet socks. <laughs> so your team looks pretty great. But these jerseys are just awesome. I mean, look at that neck. It's so cool. All right, one last website before we go. Dave'sGeekyJerseys.com is a place you can get jerseys inspired by pop culture. And this guy goes crazy. Like, here's... Here's office space, and he does all kinds of little tiny nuances, like this says Bolton on the back from Michael Bolton, and here's Boomsticks from Army of Darkness. He puts Groovy on the back. There's all kinds of little details on each different one of these little jerseys that kind of harkens back to whatever he's talking about. Here's Wild Stallions from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and uh, you can see the different little details that are in there. It's so cool. The Grim Reaper logo's on there. <laughs> All right, and then if you remember at the beginning of this video, I was wearing an El Duderino jersey and that I ordered from this site and here it is. It's got some pretty sweet little things like the white Russian. <laughs> hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? This jersey really ties the room together. And then one other thing, it comes, all of his jerseys come in goalie sizes for all my goalie buddies out there. Hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking to make jerseys for your team, maybe one of these websites will help you find that. Uh, the Dave's one is great for just finding jerseys that are cool to wear around. This was uh, the, the end of the first jersey video I'm going to make. I'm going to make another one. The next one's going to be about uh, cool other people's jerseys that I found, like, you know, just on the internet and stuff like that, or possibly in rinks around the country where I've played. So pretty neat stuff coming your way. Anyway, see you guys on the flip side. Keep that net empty. Woo!